Now, another organ that could be involved with qi sinking is the kidney. Now, the kidney, it has a function where it says it controls the two lower orifices. These two lower orifices are our urethra and our anus. Just like how when we talk about the pelvic floor, there's these two holes there. There's one anterior, one posterior. And the kidney has a function to control the two lower orifices. And if there's a deficiency in kidney qi, that can actually lead to a deficiency in controlling these two orifices. So then what's going to happen to your patient? Well, one thing that can happen is that urine is going to leak out or feces is going to leak out. We call that incontinence. And now another thing that could happen is prolapse. Like for example, there could be a prolapse of the sexual organs. There could be a prolapse of the anus. There could be vaginal prolapse. There could be bladder prolapse or even uterine prolapse. Now here's where do 20 comes into play and here's where REN6 comes into play. First, let's talk about do 20. So do 20 is called bai hui, which bai means 100. Like when you say 100, you say yi bai. When you say 200, you say liang bai. And hui means meetings. So for example, when you say you go to church, you say that you go ju hui. 